or before any of that, roll intro. Morning kids. Right. Might want to put your max on today. It's gonna to rain. Of course it is. It's June. In the southwest of France, La Charente. Right, do you want some brekkie? Come on then. Something for a change today. Get some grain. There you go. Good morning. From the southwest of France. I'm gonna give you a little uh, chipped tile update. Found some paint. Lisa painted it. So all is good in the world, once again. So Lisa and I started this channel, uh, not thinking it was ever going to develop into into this, but just to give people advice on um, moving over to France post Brexit. You know, so we did a load of videos on the uh, visa and stuff like that, and uh, we're now in the throes of applying for our carte vitale. Uh, that's a nightmare. I spent. Uh, I had a career in policing spanning four decades. So uh, I know about bureaucracy. Well, French bureaucracy is on a, it, it, it's on a different level. So anyway, so I'll, um, so you fill in the form, you send in the documents that it says that you need to, to, uh, to send in the, on the form. Um, you send it off and then it comes back and says it wants more documents. I don't know why it doesn't say all the documents in the first time. So it, we've gone back and forth and each time it's asking for more documents. So, as it stands, we've now sent copies of passports, copies of the of the visitor long stay visa, um, copies of our bank details because it's got to show you rib number and the address. Um, what else? Um, let me have a think. <laughs> and a refusal for an S1 application. Now, an S1 form, um, you would normally get that. If you've reached uh, retirement age, or you are in receipt of a um, an exportable benefit, um, which is like um, your disability living allowance, um, it's not PIP anymore. It's not uh, it's not ESA. Uh, if you're in possession of a of a war pension and stuff like that. Now, Lisa and I are not positioned, uh, are not in receipt of any of those, and we're not 67. So what you've got to do, you've got to contact the uh, NHS overseas office and apply for an S1 in order for you to be knocked back and then they send you a, a letter it's on email it's fine um, that you uh, that you need to print off and then send it back to the French authorities saying that you you are not being funded for your health care in the UK so all in all we've sent passports birth certificates the original um, application form uh, the S1 refusal um, and bank details. That's what we've sent so far. Um, no, we haven't sent it all. We're in the process of doing the bank details and the refusal for the S1 and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we should get our carte vitale. Then, next month, we have to apply for our carte de séjour, which is an addition onto the, because our visas only last 12 months. So that runs out in September, and you can only apply for it after 10 months of being here. I said it was going to be easy. So, yeah, no more tiling yeah, this weekend. Um, I've, got, I've got outside jobs. It's wet. It's really wet. Anyway, thanks for your comments. Always appreciate them. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the intro is going to stay. The intro is going to stay, even though it's going to stop the channel from growing. But... Uh, as I would say in French, je m'en fiche, I don't care. It's the ones that are following now that don't click off it just because of the intro are the ones that I'm interested in. And it's why we do it. It's a lot of fun. And a rat update. I think they've gone. They've disappeared. Um, which is good. It saves me traipsing down the uh, the bottom field to release them. Anyway, I don't know what next is. Whatever that is, let's do that.
Right, so my bad. I've done absolutely no filming. Saturday and Sunday. Um, because I've been doing nothing. It's, the weather's just been awful. So I need to go to Limoges, to Leroy Merlin's, De Roi Melon, um, so I can finish the edging to a climatical conclusion. Anyway, um, sun's out. It's threatening to be summer again. It always teases us though, doesn't it? Cue slow mo. really proud of myself I've gone into Leroy's and come out with not having bought anything that I didn't need or didn't intend to buy the other thing why the other, thing, the other reason why I went in there on the 21st of May at least when I went in spent 174 euros on stuff only to realize I would been charged twice so we went back told them they said that somebody would call us in two to three days they didn't it's now what the third of June is it the second third of June um, so some nice man He's sorting it all out for us. Sorting it all out for us. Let's start speaking properly soon. Anyway, let's get back home. So let's go from here to here.
wants a veggie patch update. I know I do. That's my borage. Yeah, all purple. I'd say it's a blue. It's not purple, is it? Oh, what? Oh, what? Be on it. Bees yeah. are on there. That's good. What else? Tomatoes. Yeah. Peppers, like bell peppers, are over there. Yeah. They're all from seed. Carnations. My archer made. Beetroot. It's actually getting really big. Maybe you can see them in there. See them? Beetroot. Last nips. Just see the size of them there. Yeah. Um, We've got some carrots. These are the carrots. Okay, some of them are ready oh, to yeah. take up. I don't like carrots. Don't like anything. There's another one. Can you see them? <laughs> I think it might be wonky veg, but that's yeah. fine, it all tastes the same. Strawberries. Protected yeah. from um, Dolby surround sound. The bed. And just run the beans? Up to here now. Yeah. You see? Amazing. And then the other side is obviously the Monge too. Monge too? It's full size Monge too there. Nice. It's taller um, than me now. And I'm seven foot four. I've grown those. Marigold from seed. From seed. Nice. They take a while. We've got some red onions. Yeah. Maybe raspberries. Maybe raspberries. Just coming through. Nice. See them? Yeah. PS2 resistance. Oh, hang on. Need to do garlic cam. So my baby courgettes who both we've stood the two um, greenhouse green fall, downs. fall downs are out. Decent. So I hope they're okay. And then the Marman, Marmon, tomato. It's a big, yeah, massive tomato. So two of those will go next to the courgettes. Fun French fact, we haven't done one of these for a while. Pièce de résistance means main dish. That's what Google tells me anyway. Main dish. Right, so that all needs to dry. Uh, school run now. No, fingers crossed. It should be dry by the time we get back. Anyway, leaves one last thing left to say. Q slow mo. Yes.